New York just became the first state to ban gas stoves in new buildings, and Missy Elliott is having a moment. That's some of what we'll get to on The 7 from The Washington Post. I'm Jeff Pierre. It's Thursday, May 4th. Let's get you caught up with today's 7 Stories. First up, lawmakers don't have many work days left to strike a debt ceiling deal. The clock is ticking. The government could run out of money to pay its bills as early as June 1st. But Congress and President Biden are scheduled to be in D.C. together just six days this month. If nothing changes, next week provides the biggest chunk of time the leaders will be together. So it'll be key for negotiations. Biden will meet with congressional leaders on Tuesday at the White House. This could have huge consequences. If Congress doesn't raise or suspend the debt ceiling and the U.S. defaults on its debts, it could wipe out millions of jobs. Number two. Five people were shot yesterday at a hospital facility in Atlanta. A 39-year-old woman was killed and four others were injured. The shooting happened around noon in one of the city's busiest commercial areas. The suspect was arrested after an hours-long manhunt. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens spoke about the shooting last night. We've had a successful end to a traumatic day. Um, And today is a day that we can go home and rest easy, that the individual that caused harm in our community is under arrest thanks to this great partnership uh, with Cobb County, Fulton County, City of Atlanta, Georgia State Patrol, and all of these uh, great partners. Police said the suspect is a 24-year-old man who visited the office, accompanied by his mother, for a medical appointment. At some point, he got upset and started shooting a handgun. Number three. Russia accused Ukraine of trying to kill President Vladimir Putin. Two drones appeared to target the Kremlin yesterday. One hit the Senate building and the other exploded over it. Ukraine has denied any involvement. Some analysts say the attack on such a heavily fortified complex could have been a symbolic gesture, but they dismiss the idea of an assassination attempt. Other experts speculate that Russia might have staged the incident in order to escalate the war. So there's still a lot of mystery around this incident. Early this morning, at least two explosions were heard in Kyiv, and Ukrainian officials say Russia launched a drone and missile strike. Here's number four. The U.S. approved the first vaccine for RSV yesterday. The shot was designed for adults 60 and older. Two other RSV vaccines could get the green light from the FDA this year, one designed to be given during pregnancy and a treatment for babies. This vaccine has been six decades in the making. RSV is a common respiratory virus that most people brush off in a week or two, but it can hit babies and older adults hard like it did last fall. New York just became the first state to ban gas stoves in new buildings. That's story number five. The law requires all electric heating and cooking in buildings shorter than seven stories by 2026 and in taller buildings by 2029, although there are some exceptions. This move is a win for the climate and it could become a model for the rest of the nation. Gas stoves are a big source of air pollution and increase the likelihood of childhood asthma and other respiratory problems. The move will probably face a court challenge from the fossil fuel industry. It'll serve as a test of states' power to ban fossil fuels outright, rather than simply encouraging developers to build low-carbon buildings. Number six. Missy Elliott and Willie Nelson were voted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yesterday's announcement was a milestone for Elliott, who will be the first female rapper ever inducted. Her debut album came out 25 years ago, so this was the first year she was eligible. Nelson, the country music legend, just turned 90. The other honorees are Kate Bush, Sheryl Crow, the late George Michael, Rage Against the Machine, and The Spinners. The induction ceremony is November 3rd in Brooklyn. And at number seven, 
Astronomers observed a star eating a planet for the first time. Here's how they think it happened. According to a study released yesterday, a planet, likely a hot Jupiter-sized one, spiraled around a much larger star until it was ingested into the star's core. Scientists are excited about this because it's a clue about what may happen to Earth billions of years from now. And don't worry, humans will probably be long gone by then. You're all caught up with the news for today. If you like the story out of New York about gas stoves, you may like Wednesday's episode of Post Reports. Our climate advice columnist gives you some small steps to live your best sustainable life. And don't forget to subscribe to the show. I'm Jeff Pierre, and may the fourth be with you. I'll meet you back here tomorrow. <laughs>